हाई एवरी वन वेलकम सो टूडे आई विल टेल यू अबाउट द ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड प्रोग्रामिंग ओके यू मे बी फेमियर विद दिस टर्म्स लाइक ओप्स सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल गिव यू वेरी ब्रीफ ओवर व्यू ऑफ सो नाउ लेट स्टार्ट विद अ वेरी बेसिक पार्ट एंड बिफोर डेट गाइज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लाइक मास्टर द पाइथन सो दिस कॉन्सेप्ट इट वेरी लाइक इंपॉर्टेंट ओके लेट मी राइट इट डाउन सो इट इज अ वेरी important topic and this should be covered by you all if you want to master the python okay so now coming to the part like guys python our programming language is a very vast programming language okay vast in the sense it can like do multiple task okay multiple task like i as in the earlier of this python series i have told you that we can use python in ai in am ml and in the many other things so in the python there is also also a approach which is named as object oriented programming okay let me write down the definition of it <laughs> guys please ignore my handwriting okay guys in this video i will give you a very brief overview of it if you don't know anything about this like ops concept so you can watch this video and everything will be very much clear to you guys okay okay guys now i before it i want to clear one thing okay that object oriented programming is not any like magic or something else okay so if 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 you are thinking that you don't know it that you cannot perform anything in the python everything is useless the case is not that it is like guys suppose for an example i want to go to the market okay and i have a four vehicle in my house like i have a car i have a bike okay and i have a bicycle so if suppose i don't have a bicycle i can go with the bike i can go with the car okay so object oriented programming like this ops concept is a type of like method only okay okay guys now coming to the part if you are new to this object oriented programming so in this programming okay i hope that screen is visible to you in this programming we create object okay guys this is very easy thing you just have to listen and focus on my word what i am saying okay okay now in like i have written on the screen this programming we create like object so now what are these object so we have to do the programming in such a way that we create object and derive in the class template in the class form okay now with an example i will show you everything in the last you just have to watch this video till the last guys see guys in oops what the thing is going we are creating like this classes and with this we are creating template okay now suppose guys we are having uh, okay for example a restaurant is selling food and a uh, vegetable vendor is sell, selling vegetable okay everyone is doing their different different task so suppose if we create a program for like for an shopkeeper to to keep the record of all the item he sell now you would be thinking like what i am they saying i know that this thing is like bit confusing for all of you so let me clear this thing guys okay now guys coming to this class and the template guys suppose suppose you are working in a bank for an example and you have to deal with around thousands of customer daily and you have to give different kind of letter to them so what we will do what uh, you will do so you will type the letter like individually for all or you will just like keep a template okay and uh, edit the things like date uh, and uh, everything like dear ma'am dear sir okay so what you will do you will create a template now so this template is a class in object oriented programming and now coming to the 
like second part like what is the object let me show you guys okay now coming to the part object okay guys okay guys now listen my words very much carefully okay now suppose i have to like take the leave from my office okay i want to go to a marriage so i take the this template and edit the things like date and like day and everything from the day which i want to take the leave until the last okay so now what will be the thing is so when we take this template and create our own letter so so the letter here will be called wait a second guys let me write it down yeah fine guys so the letter will be called wait a second guys it will be called instance of the class okay so by the help of the class we have create a object okay like in the class let me show you guys in the class we were having a template okay and we were editing it like for a bank we have to edit the letter okay so after that thing is edited it will be called as an object okay i hope guys then now this thing is very clear now why what is the class and why we create object okay guys i am explaining this thing from the very basic you just have to focus on my words okay okay guys and one thing more like this object oriented programming runs on a dry concept now what is this dry so this dry stand for do not repeat okay now what is do is do not repeat here guys as i have told you like for an template uh, for a letter we edit the things again and again according to our need okay so if you don't have a template you have to write the 20 pages again and again okay so this is i hope that this thing is very much clear to you by this line do not repeat okay you don't have to repeat anything so that's why we use the object oriented programming in which we create the object guys and now what is the advantage of this like i will tell you it is like for cost friendly okay you don't have to spend much on creating the things again and again okay now suppose you are having a program for your restaurant you do not have to like again and again invest money in it everything will be settled down in a one time investment and it is very easy to use guys okay and you can do multitask with it okay guys now guys one more thing like why we do object oriented programming let me take the pen from here okay guys okay suppose guys i have created a program to get like details of all the suppose restaurant okay get number of sales okay in like bracket we have kfc okay we can take macd also we can take like pizza hut also okay guys so now what if i put uh, this the in the bracket like suppose i have taken pvr okay so now it will give an error because pvr is a movie complex we, uh, we don't uh, like have any restaurant of this sort in the pvr so it is a movie com complex it will show an error so now what we are doing we are restricting okay we are restricting the program to like the restaurant only so this is the advantage of like object oriented programming so we can restrict the things we want to do suppose we want to have a program for the all the movies by the film star or like uh, all the record of the any other things like guys your study okay now if you do any other run any other thing in this program it will definitely give an error so we are restricting it to that uh, like limit we want okay guys i hope that this object oriented program is very much clear to you 
okay now let me explain you this one more time from the very much basic so it is very simple guys in which we create a class and give a template here okay like for an example i have show you shown you like for a bank we have to give among like 10000 letters to the people so we have we create the template here and according to it we change the details and send to it okay so this thing is very much easy guys and the main thing i would like you guys to focus on that is the thing i have written here okay do not repeat okay this is very important thing guys you just have to keep this thing in your mind it will be very important for you in the upcoming videos because in the upcoming videos i will also show you the program of the ops i hope guys that you like this video and please subscribe to our channel devtown